Hey everybody, just a real quick update on what I've been doing lately. Um, I'm building the rack for the battery pack of Leaf Modules to go into the Vectrix electric motorcycle. There's uh, Leaf cells down there. And what I've done is I took one of the side bottom plates from the Nissan Leaf pack. There originally were two of these that they were kind of four stacks of modules wide. And I cut one off with an angle grinder to get something appropriate to just one module. Here is the, uh, the one quote-unquote extra module I'm using as a sample. And as you can see, that's just going to fit on there. Uh, at the bottom are these threaded holes, and those are metric. And of course, the funny thing is, in my area, anything that's metric costs a whole bunch more if it's uh, at least available. Uh, those are 6 millimeter. So what I've done, and I, I don't have a six, you know, I don't have a metric tap and die set, um, but I do use quarter 20. That's also what video equipment uses for like a, a tripod hole, for example. So what I did was on this piece, I used that uh, quarter 20 tap and I re-threaded the hole. And what's kind of neat is going from uh, six millimeter to quarter 20, um, basically it's already the right size hole. You can take a quarter 20 tap, put it straight into a six millimeter hole and tap it out. You don't have to pre-drill or anything. Um, actually the metal these are made out of is uh, surprisingly tough and I tried drilling one and it didn't turn out too well. So instead of using this smooth um, six millimeter rod, uh, from the original Nissan Leaf pack. It's it's too long. I'd have to cut it down, but that means there's only a little bit of uh, threads on either end. I'd have to re-thread it, and I don't have equipment for doing that. Now, on the other hand, I can just go to the hardware store, and uh, three-foot sections of quarter-inch threaded rod were only $2 each. So for 8 bucks and using a tap that I already have, I now have components that thread right down into there. So then I'll stack the batteries on top of that and then use a end plate and then just use regular quarter 20 uh, nuts on both ends and I should be all set. Also, um, I ordered a cycle analyst and I got that in. Uh, it's about $150. This is the high current version. So that one uh, uses an ammeter shunt for tracking current. And I should be able to get that uh, installed on the Vectrix sometime soon too and if we just take a quick look here so basically this thing is gonna go into the Vectrix in the main box here essentially like that so that's where I am right now and uh, subscribe tune in uh, see you next time as I keep working on this project